So I'm going to do a short video on vitamins. Uh, there's one distinction between synthetic vitamins and whole food concentrates that I really, really want to make because so many people are taking the wrong ones unknowingly. When you get a vitamin that's prescribed by a doctor that you have to get from a pharmacy, then you know for a fact it's synthetic. And that includes all those prenatals. Now, what are synthetic vitamins? There are man-made vitamins made from petroleum, coal tar, and they synthesize them to sort of make them the same as natural molecules. But what, what's missing is that in nature, nothing comes in these fractionoid individual parts of vitamins. In nature, you always have the whole complex of vitamins um, and not in high amounts, in very small amounts. So even though you have high potency vitamins that are synthetic, the reason why your urine is so yellow is because you're just peeing it out because it's almost toxic to your body. The only benefit of synthetic vitamins is a short-term use, maybe doing a detox, but that's it. You never wanna take them long-term. Now, I'm not even saying focus on natural vitamins. I'm saying focus on whole food concentrates. And you have to look on the label and read the ingredients. Where does it come from? If you cannot pronounce the chemical, then we know it's made from synthetics. So let's just take vitamin C complex. In nature, vitamin C comes with, with multiple parts. We have ascorbic acid, that's the antioxidant portion. And that's so funny because antioxidants really are the inactive part of the vitamin C complex. They're not the active part. They don't really, they're like the eggshell to the eggs, they're like the banana peel to the banana. Um, they're there to protect the guts of that um, vitamin, but most people think that this is the active portion and they take it in high amounts and think they're getting some benefits. Um, let me just tell you the, the only benefit you would get if you were, had a cold or something with the acidic nature, the acidifying nature of ascorbic acid because when you make the body more acid when you're sick, it tends to increase, help the immune system fight this thing off better. But you'd be better off taking apple cider vinegar, not ascorbic acid, because when you take high amounts of synthetic vitamins, it tends to deplete the other associated parts that normally come with that vitamin complex. And that's why too much ascorbic acid, you end up with bleeding gums, spider veins. That's the side effect. Um, why? Because you're going to be creating deficiencies of vitamin P. Vitamin P are all the bioflavonoids. They're rootin. They're, they're the ones that help um, the arteries, the strengthen the, the gums and the teeth, the capillaries. Without vitamin P, you'll get varicose veins and spider veins. Vitamin J. Now you say, well, wait a second. I never heard of vitamin J. Well, what's the first vitamin that was ever discovered? Take a wild guess. It's not vitamin C. It's vitamin A. Then comes B, then C, then D, then E, then F, and G. And it goes right down through all the way up to, I think, um, J and H and they even have vitamin U. So those are vitamins that are just, they were discovered in that order. So vitamin J is the anti-pneumonia vitamin. It helps you breathe. It helps um, with oxygen carrying capacity, especially when you go up a flight of stairs. So if you go up stairs and you can't breathe, it could mean that you need more vitamin J or you have problems breathing. Copper, in, in vitamins, you always have a mineral as part of the connecting parts. All vitamins have as their base some mineral. With vitamin C, it's copper. Copper is not just like a metallic, a rock, like you would have like a copper penny. It's, it's in an enzyme form, so it's really easy to digest. And the enzyme, the name of it is called tyrosinase, which basically is um, one of the key uh, minerals to help you build up collagen in your joints and your arteries and things like that. And so then we have K. That's a, um, it, it helps you clot, so it helps prevent bleeding. And there's certain drugs that are blocking vitamin K, like, um, um, like the rat poison, Coumadin, which people take to prevent strokes and things like that. So you can't, they can't really consume much of vitamin K vegetables. But the point is that what you want to do is you want to look for vitamins that come in their whole complex um, parts, not as a synthetic you want to avoid the synthetics and because the synthetic vitamin C is made from cornstarch, which by the way has no vitamin C, and sulfuric acid. Those two things. It's kind of weird that you're getting vitamin C without, without a raw material that comes from vitamin C or has vitamin C in it. 
but that's how they make it. It's cornstarch and sulfuric acid. What's the bottom line? Only ever consume food or a whole food concentrates and you'll stay out of trouble.